Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the fifth video in the electricity series from level three on inductors, and this is mutual inductance. So we're going to talk about, uh, just to remind you that we can, how we induce electricity in a coil. Um, and then we're going to look at mutual inductance, ways to generate mutual inductance, and then how this is used in society. So inductance is about generating electricity. So the word induce means to generate electricity. And the way we can do that is we can move a magnet near a coil, right? And the key part of this, it's not that there's a magnetic field in the coil, it's that the flux, which is the magnetic field through an area, the flux changes. So when we have a change in flux, that induces electricity, right? So we can just take this idea one step further um, and instead of moving a magnet, on the left here, I have an electromagnet, right? So this is a coil of wire, but I've got, um, you can see, just sort of cut off down the bottom, I've got a, a cell or a battery here. And when I connect the battery up to this coil of wire, current flows, um, and current flows this way and this way. And when current flows around a coil, or when current flows in a magnet, uh, in, a, in, a, in a wire, sorry, it generates electricity. And I can use my right hand grip rule for a, an inductor or a coil. My fingers follow the current round and my thumb points to the north pole. So this is going to make a magnetic field that looks like this. So last time we had a magnet moving close to the coil. Now I'm going to be looking at, instead of a magnet, I'm still moving a magnetic field, but it's from another coil. And I move that close to another coil, just an empty one. And voila! I've gone from no flux to some flux. I've changed the flux. Remember, changing flux induces um, electricity. So this changing flux generates electricity in the second coil. I can use my hand rule. I've increased the flux. Nature abhors an increase or a change in flux. That's Lenz's law. So therefore, it's going to want to decrease that. And it's going to want to cancel that out by making a magnetic field in the other direction. My right hand points this way, my fingers wrap around, that's the current, and see so you see the current flows in the opposite direction. But what's really important here is I've managed to take electricity from one coil of wire, and by moving that coil of wire towards another coil of wire, I've managed to generate electricity in the second coil without touching it. This is a wireless transfer of electricity, and this is a big deal. Now, it seems like it's almost a magical um, concept but it's been around for almost 200 years um, as an idea and we're still using it today in many of our technologies so there's different ways we could make mutual inductance or get electricity to transfer wirelessly like this um, here we started and you just saw me moving the coil closer but you could move the coil from close to far away because that will change the flux remember we're just thinking about changing the flux we can spin one of the coils um, or we could turn the coil on and off because that'll go from you know full flux down to zero, back to full flux, back to zero. Or we could reverse the coil, the current in the coil, right? So it's going magnetic field one way, and if we reverse the current, then the magnetic field goes the other way. So how is this used? Um, two very basic ways it's used is um, the wireless charging of phones. So if you have a phone that you can just sit on a little pad and charge it without having to plug anything into the phone, that works on exactly the same principle. There's a coil of wire in the um, charger, there's a coil of wire in your phone, and you have to change the electricity in the charger, and that changing electricity produces a changing flux and you generate electricity in the phone. The other way is in transformers, uh, the picture on the right. We're gonna go into transformers in a bit more depth when we talk about AC electricity, but they're a very important part of our um, electricity distribution network, um, both in New Zealand and around the world. So we'll talk about that in a later video. So in summary, for this mutual inductance, right, one inductor can induce electricity in another, as opposed to just taking a, a, a permanent magnet, a bar magnet, and moving it close to a, a coil of wire. You can take a coil of wire that has electricity running through it and move it close to another coil of wire, and you can induce electricity um, wirelessly. And the way we do that is we just have to make sure that we change the flux in the coil. right? So we can either move it back and forth, or we can turn it off and on, and this technology is obviously used in a number of ways, and two of the examples are wireless um, charging and transformers, which we will discuss more when we meet them at AC Electricity.